I don't know if my parents are involved. I think if they are, then they should come clean. Where, where, was Brian with you on September 1st? Did he come to this yes, house? Yes, he yeah. came to this house with my parents in their Mustang, not the van. I did not know that he took that van back. I found out the next day with everybody else. We are just as upset, frustrated, and heartbroken as everybody else. And I am losing my parents and my brother and my children's aunt and my future sister-in-law on top of this. And you're not helping. Why your parents? Why? Why your parents? You're talking about Christmas. They're not talking to us either. Why aren't they talking to you guys? If I knew, I would say, I don't know. Do you think they're involved? Your parents? I don't know. You don't know. We know. You're not involved. All right, all right. What's up, people, man? Now, listening to the sister finally speaking up and opening up about what she knows in this situation, what she doesn't know, and what's not clear, and what's not being spoken of with her. She's being kind of closed out, and it starts to open the door to the possibility of these parents being involved and possibly helping their son to discard the remains of Gabby, knowing Gabby was dead. Um, did they travel out there along with him, being now it's revealed that the kid flew back out here flew back out to florida sorry about that i'm not involved in it and then returned out there or was he driven out there by the parents and then they found a place to discard her out there in that teton national force uh it's some sinister stuff going on and the fact that the parents immediately uh, um hired the services of an attorney, an attorney who was doing everything to keep the um, family within their constitutional rights of not speaking to anyone, staying away from everyone, hiding their child. There's a lot of ill-ish going on, and they are using every aspect of the law, constitutional rights, which is kind of put law made constantly. I mean, it's made law enforcement really powerless in this situation, and it's sick and sinister looking at what 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 has transpired in this situation. So here's a girl who has lived with them in a sister's line as well, as if she didn't speak. But the she don't talk about she don't speak with her brother. But the kids are close with the brother from what other conversations that have been had. Uh, postcards that she put on her Instagram that they were sending back. So there's a communication between them. But once again, like I said, it's her, each family member is throwing each other under the bus. And the family and the parents are throwing the daughter under the bus to what's spoken by the attorney, as that's their medium as far as how they communicate. But it's some ill stuff. But I think these parents possibly had a hand in... Um, something related to the movement of a dead person. They were out there on that scene. They knew where this girl was. They possibly seen her. And they're just open and talking like that. And they're going to protect each other. Uh, but I think at the end of the day, there's going to be charges coming on these parents as well. And I don't know how much that attorney can keep them and keep uh, people in the dark through their silence. But it ain't going to last as long as that daughter is starting to open up and speak out about what's going on and her constantly saying she don't know if her parents are involved which is kind of a way of saying yeah they're involved in this situation they had a hand at this man and this is wicked like i say man if i was the parents man we'll all be dead we'll all be dead drive a, a, a oil tanker through that mug with a cigarette in my mouth as we explode Cause y'all ain't living. Y'all want to keep secrets. You're going to die with them. Or maybe I'll just blow it up and run the hell up out the truck. Uh, but in, in face my time sitting comfortably in the cell with every vision, with a smile on my face of what I did to these old riding parents. But that's all I got. Catch you on the next one. Peace.